So today we are going to go out and I'm going to show you guys something that most people don't like me for saying, but it's the truth. All of this gear, all of this equipment, all of it, you don't need a single one. You don't need any of it. You could literally go out here with what I'm about to show you, a 15 year old little pocket camera and get amazing results. And it's all about technique. It's all about focus and it's all about taking photos of boring things in interesting ways. Okay, so I bought this little guy right here, an Olympus Stylus Tough from a yard sale recently. It's a little cheap. Well, cheap now. Got it for 10 bucks. It's a waterproof camera. And it doesn't take the best pictures in the world, but it's good enough. And for this to be good enough, you really have to think about whether or not you need to spend five grand on a new camera or not when all you're doing is taking photos. So without any further ado, because we're not doing any ado today, we're gonna hit the street, do some POV photography with that 12 to 15 year old point and shoot camera. I'll see you guys on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, passionate photographers and lovers of the visual arts. I, okay, we're, we're not doing this, but I guess what I wanna talk about today is pretty near and dear to my heart, you know? And I, 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 I speak the truth when I'm saying that it's, we often overlook in our high-tech society the fact that having state-of-the-art equipment doesn't make great photos. We live in such a fast-paced, technology-driven world today, and it's really easy to get swept up in the continuous cycle of innovation and upgrades and getting the next new phone, the next new camera. And it's just, it's a really common belief that the higher the specs, the better the quality when it comes to photography. And it just isn't true. It's not just about pixels or resolution or dynamic range. It's about capturing moments, telling stories, and conveying emotions. Many of us believe, myself included sometimes, that great photography is all about having a super expensive piece of equipment. And I just wanted to make this video to remind everyone and myself that a camera, like any tool, is only as good as the person who uses it. A talented musician can create beautiful music with an old instrument just as well as a skilled chef can create a culinary masterpiece with humble ingredients. And when it comes to photography, a keen eye and a vivid imagination paired with a passionate heart can create compelling pho photographs.
it really is the eye behind the lens that truly makes a photograph unique. It's your perspective, it's your creative vision and your ability to see extraordinary and ordinary things. A compelling image is not always the one that's in perfect focus or has perfect composition or anything like that. It's, it's about capturing a fleeting moment, invoking emotions, invite your viewers to see the world from a new perspective, from your perspective. The most iconic photographs in history weren't taken with multi-thousand dollar cameras. They were created by photographers who understood light, shadow, composition, and in my opinion, most importantly, the decisive moment, the moment you decide to hit that shutter button. Uh, a beautiful sunset doesn't become less breathtaking if it's shot on a less expensive camera. The, 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 the tears of joy at a wedding, or the curious gaze of a child, or the, the, the majestic fall of a leaf in the middle of autumn, none of these things lose their magic if they're not captured on the newest piece of equipment, the newest camera. Um, and and I, I want to make sure that I'm clear. I'm not diminishing the advances in technology that we've had in the last few years. We have cameras with AI in them now. It's, it's a completely different world than when I started doing photography. It really did open new frontiers in photography and videography and made it more accessible, more diverse more exciting in a lot of ways, but I think it's really important to understand that the best camera is not necessarily the one with the most megapixels or the highest price tag. The best camera is going to be the one you have with you, the, the, the one you know how to use, and the one that can help you best express your creative vision. Photography is not just a display of affluence or a pursuit reserved for those who can afford the best camera. It's, it's an art form. It's a way of seeing the world, a universal language that transcends cultural boundaries. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to find beauty in everything, even with the most basic tools in their hand.
feel like now that we're halfway through 2023, we just need to focus more on honing our skills, on nurturing our own creativity, on finding unique perspectives and investing in our understanding and mastery of things like composition, light, um, attention to detail. We really need to cultivate the patience to wait for that perfect moment. And I feel like in these areas in particular, that is where the true magic of photography lies. And to to end it all here, I think that we need to remember that the camera doesn't make the photographer. It's the vision, it's the story, it's the emotion that you bring to your photography that truly matters. So let's strive not just to capture photos or take pictures, but create images that convey a story, that spark emotions, and they stand as a timeless testimony to the beauty of our world. Remember that in the hands of a true artist, even the simplest tools can make extraordinary masterpieces. See you guys next week. Peace.